Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Ominous Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use our fully integrated environment, Ominous, in short videos of a few minutes. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Row Wizard to automatically create structure meshes for Turbo Machinery applications. The starting point of a Turbo Machinery structured mesh in Ominous is having the geometry entities describing the machine, such as hub, shroud, blade, leading and trailing edge, successfully linked to a turbo configuration in the family tree of the geometry context. The family tree will be the focus of a dedicated video and here we will start by importing the geometry entities using a GeomTurbo file. Click on the import button in the top of the family tree and select the GeomTurbo file. The GeomTurbo file contains the definition of the channel curves in ZR coordinates, blade row properties, as well as sectional XYZ coordinates in a standardized structured data format. The turbo configuration shows all entities linked to the turbo machine. In this example, we have the channel curves, hub and shroud, and three blade rows named row 1, row 2, and row 3. The next step is to switch to the mesh context. Notice that importing a jump turbo or a TRB file automatically creates a corresponding mesh setup with the auto grid mesher automatically selected. The row wizard offers an easy way to set up the mesh generation parameters for each row according to the machine type. Each row has its own properties, which can be modified in the wizard control panel. Here, we can select predefined mesh templates suitable for different row types, such as axial turbine, Francis turbine, inducer, axial compressor, centrifugal impeller, among others. Keep in mind that these templates are useful to predefine a mesh topology, but the user is free to apply a different template than what the row actually is. A row is also characterized by its periodicity, its rotational speed, and the presence of gaps and fillets at the hub or shroud. By selecting a row in the tree, the user can specify the flow path number from hub to shroud and the cell width as solid walls. The entry grid refinement level controls the blade to blade grid points and can be increased or decreased using the arrows to adapt the number of grid points in all areas of the mesh. If not already defined in the geometry context, the presence of gaps and fillets can be activated, with the cell width at the leading and trading edge available as user inputs. Here, only row 2 is a rotor, with a tip gap of 3 mm. Select row 1 and click on Apply Wizard to selected row. The autogrid mesher should quickly adapt the mesh topology and points distribution to the selected row type and display the blade-to-blade -blade mesh at mid-span in the blade-to-blade -blade view. Similarly, the row wizard is applied to rows 2 and 3. A preview of the blade-to-blade -blade mesh produced by the row wizard at different span positions can also be displayed for each row. For that, hide all rows except row 1. Expand the row 1 assembly in the tree Select Main Blade and go to the Blade to Blade tab. Here, the active layer can be adjusted to a different span position by moving the slider next to the active layer or by manually inputting a span percentage between 0 and 100. Next, click on Generate Blade to Blade Mesh on top of the family tree. The Blade to Blade view is updated accordingly. The last task is to save your Omnis project. Launch the 3D mesh generation by clicking on the Mesh Setup Assembly control tab. By default, Omnis AutoGrid will launch the mesh in parallel using the maximum number of available processors in the workstation. If needed, adjust the number of processors accordingly in the Resources Control button and hit Start. The mesh generation progress is displayed in the family tree consecutively for each row, and the green check mark next to the mesh setup indicates task completion. The final 3D mesh is displayed in the 3D view. Use the Show Mesh Quality button in the pie of the 3D view to check the mesh statistics and switch from the Hexpress tab to the AutoGrid tab. Here, a very good structure mesh with approximately 2.8 million points was generated in 1 minute and 10 seconds on 8 processors. More details on Omnis Mesh post-processing tools will be covered in a dedicated video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, 
Be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming content like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a great Tuesday.